I hope you guys are buckled up. This is a one of the deeper what's new episodes we've had. We've got new soft baits, new hard baits, and new rods from depths. One of the hottest trout baits and one of the hottest swim baits in Japan from Tiemco arrive, and some one-time limited run baits from Lucky Craft. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. Welcome back, my friends. I am Ben with the Hookup Tackle, the Tackle Taku on Instagram, being joined this fine Sunday morning by my buddy, Jeffrey the King. Top of the morning to you, Jeff. It's a nice shirt you got on. I like the green. Oh, thank you very much. It brings out your eyes. Wow, this is this is weird. Is this complimenting me back from last week? Uh, sure. You don't look as beautiful without your Orion oh. shirt, just so you know. I see. Yeah, I mean. That's fine. Still beautiful. Just, mm. you know, different. Not as. Yeah, different. Now. I get it. Do you... Speaking of, are you partaking or are you just, I'm just creepily here. watching me? I'm just here existing. Yeah, okay. Stalking me. Yeah. Top of the morning to you guys. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. We are the Hookup Tackle USA. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle where we highlight new product drops and important restocks so you guys can stay on top of the game. Like I mentioned in the intro, this is one of the bigger what's new weeks that we've had in a long time. Tons of stuff landed this week. So I'm gonna fly through a lot of this. Grab yourself a beer, yeah, or a coffee, or if go. you're Something Jeff, normal. a water, yeah. maybe. Every time we go to Starbucks, the dude doesn't even order coffee. He orders water. Yeah, Is I it? only need water okay. to survive. Well, cheers, my friends. Hope you're having a great weekend. Oh, man, that's delicious. That Are you be, sure? Yeah, there's no shot, okay, dude. that's amazing. All right, let's go from delicious beer to delicious baits. Jeff, you know that Lucky Craft is one of our favorite brands. Love the brand, love the owners. One of the original JDM brands to really make a splash here in the USA. One of the great JDM brands where everything is still made in Japan at their factory. So really exciting anytime we get limited drops from them. And we have several today. And a lot of these are baits that I know you guys have been waiting on and we are fortunate enough to get them to make them in a couple of our shop custom colors, okay? So let's let's dive in. Let's start right here. So, Jeff, you're a pretty young guy, and this crankbait has been gone for some time, so you might, I don't know if you remember this or not, do you remember the Lucky Craft SKT line of crankbaits? Uh, no. Okay, so Lucky Craft and Skeet Reese collabed years and years ago to do a crankbait called the SKT. Now, this was one of the mainstays for all of us that used Lucky Craft baits. It went away, sadly, and we got an amazing call a few months ago that they had some blanks and they agreed to do them up in our custom color. So the SKT DR, the SKT MRRT, and the SKT Mini DR return in two of our custom colors. So the return in SI Gill, as well as Essa Dawn. Okay, if you guys remember, our Essa colors are designed to look like real bait. Essa meaning live bait. So these are colors that really represent uh, the real thing. Now, I was afraid you were gonna say you didn't remember this, Jeff. And it's okay, a lot of guys may not, but a lot of guys right now are freaking out because this was absolutely one of my favorite crankbaits of all time. So this is the SKT Mini DR. It's an amazing, kind of square bill-ish deep diving crankbait, comes through cover great, fish absolutely destroy this thing. So there's a look at the Essa Gill, okay? And then the Essa Dawn, of course, 
is like a transparent, real subtle morning dawn crankbait color, just a little bit of chartreuse on the bottom, uh, kind of a clear prism-y side, and just a real subtle pink on the back. So the SKT Mini DR is in both colors. The SKT MR RT, so this is the rattle version, right? So pretty self-explanatory. This is gonna be more of a square bill, so like that three, four foot zone. And then the SKT DR is just a little bit bigger than the mini version. So here's the mini and here's the DR. So all three of these are gonna be offered in the Essa Gill and the Essa Dawn. So one time shot, if you guys remember this, or if you don't, trust me on this, this will be an amazing, just run the bank, shallow water crankbait for you guys, available while supplies last. While we are on little crankbaits, another super finesse little crankbait that hasn't been around for a really long time, this is the Lucky Craft CB Mighty D2R. Okay, so this is a really small crankbait. It's one and three quarters inches, so 44 millimeters. It's quarter ounce. This guy's gonna be a perfect one for like six to seven foot dive depth. Open one up here so you guys can see it. Uh, this is a great one that kind of bridges that gap designed for bass, but trout love this thing as well. So it does have a little weight transfer system in it. You get a little noise. Okay, so just a great little finesse crankbait for running rock, running bank. I think you guys will dig that. So again, both the same colors, Essa Gill and Essa Dawn, available in that guy. We also had them do a special run of Stacy 80s for us in those two colors as well. So the Stacy 80 is the downside, downsized Stacy size, 80 millimeters, 5 sixteenths of an ounce. So again, the same colors, the Essa Gill, Essa Dawn. It's gonna be coming into Stacy season pretty soon. So if you guys like throwing jerk baits in really cold water, this should be a staple in your box. Those are available. And then finally, we see three colors in the LV 200. And this is one that hasn't been available for year. I haven't seen them in years. So this one is super exciting because I'm a huge fan of the LV 500. The LV 200 is uh, basically the same length. It's 72 and a half millimeters, five eighths of an ounce. It's gonna be available in Essa Dom, Essa Gill, and Live Ghost Bone Shad. What the LV 200 does that the other ones don't do so when you think of the LV500, you've got all the different rattles inside of it, right? You got your tungsten, your glass, uh, your lead, and they're all kind of rattling around. The LV200 has a metal plate inside. So it's gonna just give it a different, almost a one knock, but a metal kind of one knock. Right, so you're getting some squeak, you're getting some vibration, you're getting a different hit. Uh, it's just a completely different sound underneath the water. The fish chomp it, this was one of those, again, kind of like the SKT, where we hated to see it go. Stoked that they had some that we could do some dope colors on. So again, if any of these speak to you, these are gonna be one-time offerings from Lucky Craft. Those are all available right now. All right, Jeff, let's jump over to Tiemco Japan. Tiemco is really, becoming one of those booming brands in Japan. So we are gonna be working with them to uh, bring their whole product line here into the US. So look for a lot to come down the pipe from Tiemco over the next few months. We're gonna start with a couple of their more popular baits. One of the most popular trout baits in Japan going right now is the Emiro 50S. Okay, so this is gonna look familiar to you, almost like a Ima Isen or a, you know, great hunting. These are going to spec out almost the same. They're 4.3 grams, 50 millimeters, made in Japan. They're just gonna have a little bit different action than what you're uh, used to seeing in, in the other ones, right? It's just like what we've talked about before, that a lot of these are going to accomplish uh, very similar things, but they're gonna have different movements. You can see this one's got more of that elongated back back there. It's gonna come with good quality hardware, so you can literally just tie it on and go. So super psyched to get these guys in. I know a lot of you trout guys and BFS guys are gonna dig this. It is totally quiet, right? So you're just gonna get the vibration of the bait. So those are available now, I think in about like 15 colors. So you guys can check those out. Also stoked to get one of the hotter, I would still consider this to be a big bait, even though it's not really that big. This is the MB1 Custom. 175 F. So it's 175 millimeters. It's 40 grams. So one and a half ounce. It's a floating bait. Now, this guy has three different modes. This is kind of the design 
to Tiemco. Tiemco likes to make a lot of baits that are just a little bit different, right? So they take similar styled things that you guys are used to seeing, but they're just gonna make them with their own spin, their own design concept. So this guy is actually designed to have three different modes. So instead of using different lips or different functions there, it actually has three different holes built into the main body that you can back a screw out and you can either move this tail section farther or closer to the body and then reattach it. So if you go all the way to the front, it's gonna be a real tight movement, more for uh, using like a jerk bait or just a straight retrieve. It's gonna come with the uh, screw right in the middle, which is kind of the all around use. So you can walk the dog on top, you can walk the dog under the water, you can just crank it down, or you can put it on the very back hole and it's gonna be more of a dead stick right? So you can just kind of let it just kind of float and then just kind of pop it and it's going to glide back and the tail is going to move back around. So three different modes that you can do. I would just leave it in the center to start. It's got an amazing action like that, uh, but really fun that you can play the different modes based on what you need the bait to do. Uh, I believe it's in 10 colors. So there you go. I think you guys are going to catch a ton of fish. It comes with a spare tail. It comes with decoy hooks on it already. It also comes with spare decoy feathered trebles as well. Uh, so everything you need is right in the box. That is the MB1 Custom from Tiemco. It's available now. All right, let's stay on swim baits for a second, Jeff. Working Class Zero, as you guys know, we're huge Working Class Zero fans here. They did another special run of seven inch citizens for us in the last color drop. So I know a lot of you guys missed out on that. So if you missed out and, or maybe you just need to replace them by now, we do have some seven inch citizens in stock now. Uh, they are working on some new colors that we expect to see over the next probably month or so as well. But for now, we do have some availability on that. We also see a resupply on one of the cooler baits from Duran Crazy. Let me take this wrapping off of here. The Sumeragi returns in a few colors as well. This is that Arowana, crazy Arowana looking bait. Does not have a lot of action to it as much as I would love to say that this thing just moves like crazy. It really doesn't have great action. It just looks just like an Arowana. So it's super sick to collect. It's super sick to just throw out. So if, if your fish are crushing Arowanas, they're just kind of floating on the surface this is That's probably the, the best imitator, right? right? And that happens sometimes, right? <laughs> yeah. So I wish. That's the bite. Wouldn't that be, that's where I want to go. The bass are eating okay. all water. If this is happening by you, please, please shoot me a DM. Us. Yeah, either Jeff or myself, and we will come out and bring <laughs> some Sumeragis with us and go fishing with you. So there you go, the Sumeragi is back. We also see a big restock this week from Gancraft in the Joint and Claw 178s. So we see a pretty expansive uh, color line come back, including some limited run colors uh, that are only in Japan. So that's pretty exciting. Jeff, I know you love the 178 size. Yeah. Is that your favorite size? Yeah, it is. It's just a super universal size. Just gets it? bit, man. Yeah. So if you guys are looking for a great place to start, this is a really good one. It's super easy to throw. It just moves well. And like Jeff said, it just gets bit. And that's at the end of the day, that's how we gauge all of these things, right? It can be super fun to throw, but if it's not getting bit, what's the point, right? So uh, 178 return in a bunch of colors. We also see a restock in the Ayrton from Gancraft. So the 63 MR is back in stock. This is a great little shad bait from Gancraft. So if you guys were missing any colors from the line. We're almost to that time of the year where it's, it's shad bait season. Remember shad baits are gonna be kind of a hybrid between a crankbait and a jerkbait. So it's gonna be things that you can kind of sweep and then give a couple pops and maybe wine and sweep. So a lot of different things you can do with this. Ayrton's a super dope one. Those return, sale on those. They did but those return, return from <laughs> Gancraft. Okay, a couple of soft plastic offerings from Gancraft. A couple of months ago, we brought to you the new worm from Gancraft, the Cabrata. This week, we see three new colors. These are Japan only colors in this worm. It's a super dope worm. It's a big worm. It's designed. I mean, you can do all kinds of things with this bait, but really designed as like a wacky rig bait or a neko rig bait. Uh, each side has these kind of grooved ends and they kind of come to this point, right? So they're gonna have independent movement if you kind of wacky rig this. So just a great all around worm. We need something just a little bit bigger. Uh, so if it speaks to you, three great colors. We see a scuppernong, we see a watermelon candy, we see a moebi. 
So any of those are available now. All right, and then also if you guys watched our episode that we dropped a few days ago with Louise, we were talking about back glide baits, how much he loves back glide. So everybody here pretty much fans of back glide baits, especially the kayak guys and the shore guys. Uh, so they asked us to bring in the Gancraft back glide as well. So here you go. The Gancraft bomb slide is available now. So again, it's gonna be a pretty traditional back glide. It's weighted very heavily. I'll take one out here for you guys to take a look. All right, so you can see it's a flatter body, but really designed very well to where this thing is just going to really pull and then it's got these kind of ribbed grooves on both the you know tentacles coming out and the arms as well. So you're gonna get just a little bit different vibration and movement out of this thing than some of the other baits. It is kind of uh, got that kind of bumpy grooved surface Again, designed to give the same kind of feel as like a crawdad would in a crusher or the mouth. So the bomb slide from Gancraft, I think it's available in about 10 colors. So those are available now. All right, Jeff, let's jump over to depths. Huge week from depths this week. Soft plastics, hard baits, swim baits, rods, all kinds of stuff. So let's start flying through this. So let's start right here with a couple of new soft plastics from them. I introduced to you the brand new soft plastic. This is the depths. MS Crawl. Now, probably not what you expected to see in a soft plastic from Depths, right? Company known for big baits, big soft plastics. Uh, but this is going to be a little small finesse crawl. Let me open one up here. So the MS Crawl is a 2.6 inch crawl. So it's a little finesse guy. It can work as a uh, jig trailer. You can put this, uh, you know, I'm sure like if you're Griff, you're probably gonna put this on a little Ned head right but you notice that it's got a fully ribbed body so it's got a lot of movement and a lot of flexibility to it so you can drop shot this you can fish it on a free rig a lot of things you can do it's got little appendages on the side it's got little claws that just have a real tight movement to it so a very cool little finesse crawl if you guys are looking for something smaller maybe you know in addition to like a dull life crawl or something like that so the new ms crawl from depths those are available now all right, another new soft plastic from Depths. We see the MS Grub. Now, grubs are definitely a style of bait that have, I don't know, I would say like 30 years ago, they were super popular and then they have just declined, 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 declined. And now there's almost no grubs on the market, right? Well, Depths is setting out to change that. Jeff, back is the grub. Griff, were you missing a grub? Sure. You didn't know you were, but here you're missing a grub. Jeff, were you missing a grub? Here, add a grub to your lineup. Everybody needs a good grub, Jeff. So here you go, don't put it back. Huh? Oh. No, it's supposed to go in your box. Here, let me open it up and then you'll be blown away. I'm gonna be blown okay? away? Yeah, well, everybody needs this bait. All right, so, so grubs. Oh should I be buying God. stock and grub baits again? Oh yeah, it's coming back. Just watch, <laughs> there's gonna be a Berkeley grub in no time now. Okay, so. <laughs> Depths decided to take the grub concept and they've basically made a triangular shape bait. So they wanted to make a grub that was going to be good at a lot of different things. Something that was subtle, something that was, you know, kind of mostly body, but just a little bit of tail action. But they wanted the tail action to have a lot of volume to it, right? So instead of making a really long curly tail, they made a short curly tail that pushes really hard. Now you can use this uh, as a free rig bait. It's how a lot of guys are using it in Japan. You can Texas rig it. A lot of guys are also drop shotting it. So it's designed to have perfect kind of mobility and stays in the right position on a drop shot. It also works great as a trailer. So if you guys are looking for a jig trailer, chatterbait trailer, spinnerbait trailer, it can work great as that. If you do rig it weedless, there is a little groove on the top there to protect your hook point as well. So just a great little all around grub. Hey, something different. They're not seeing grubs anymore. So they've forgotten all mm. about it. So it'll give you a chance to refresh your look. There you go, the MS Grub from Depths, available now. All right, the worm that Jeff has been waiting on for a year to return has makes not. it back. <laughs> well, it's almost back. It's half. So one of our most popular Neko rig worms, and this worm is amazing, is this guy from Depths. This is the Depths Kinku Air. Now I said Neko rigs, that's how it was designed. But guys are doing all kinds of stuff with this. They're Texas rigging it, they're drop shotting it, they're doing all kinds of, whatever you wanna do with a worm, you can do. They did used to make a 13 inch version of this that Jeff's a huge fan of. 
they haven't made it in years, but back come some of the other sizes. The 7.8 is back, the 5.8 is back, I think the 4.8 is back as well. Yep, 4.8 is back as well. Here you go, Jeff, your favorite color. I don't know. It's close enough to a 13 inch. I one. have to like fuse both of, like two of them together. I know, it's crazy. Well, you could do that. <laughs> yeah, mended those suckers together there, Jeff. Uh. All right, so here's a look. I know this isn't necessarily new to the market, but it's been a long time long since time. Depths has made Kinku Air, so I'm just gonna touch base on it really quick. So it's a big worm, right? It's ribbed on the bottom or the top, depending on how you wanna use it. It has this little spade tail on the back. So the way most guys use it is they'll put a little ring right there, nail weight in the head, right? And they just kind of neck rig it around. It's just got this big body. I mean, it's a big bodied worm uh, with just a different movement because of those ribs and how it's shaped. So there you go. If you guys are looking for uh, just something different, different kind of worm, there you go. The Kinku Air returns. All right, now that Jeff is a super fan of grubs, how about another grub? A grub worm. It's really more of a worm, but I'm gonna call it a grub just for you, Jeff. The Depths Stirrer Tail is now available. So this is, again, I guess kind of a worm. I guess just everything with a curly tail isn't a grub, but. Not anymore. Maybe for you, it'll be a grub. This is kind of a really cool bait. Depths wanted to make something that had a lot of water push that wasn't a huge presence. So they made this small little kind of ring tail worm with this massive tail on the back. So you get this small little profile bait with a lot of movement. Again, you can do all kinds of things with this. You could use it as a trailer. You can use it on a Texas rig. Free rig guys have been using this a lot as well. So lots of stuff you can do with this when you need something that's got a lot of volume to it. Top to bottom, I would say it's about, maybe about five and a half inches or so. Okay, so it's a pretty normal size bait. So you guys can use it in a, in a big lake, in a pond, almost anywhere. So there you go, it's available in a bunch of colors. That's the new stirrer tail from Depths. All right, and then while we're on curly tails, our best selling big ribbon tail worm is back. This is the Depths Death Hatter Jumbo Curly, back in stock. So they advertise this as a seven inch worm but this is actually more of like an 11 inch worm top to bottom. So the seven inches is just the worm part, okay? But then you got another four inches of ribbon tail here. So this is a super dope ribbon tail worm. It's built flat like a Death Hatter. So you can rig it up and down, you can rig it sideways, you can rig it however you want to. Makes a great Texas rig. A lot of guys will also use it as a big free rig type option as well. So lots of stuff you can do with this thing. Uh, it's available in a ton of colors. So if you guys have been waiting for these to come back, available again now, the Jumbo Curly Death Hatter from Depths. Okay, while we're talking about restocks, Death Hatters return in a huge way, uh, both in five inch and four inch. So if you guys have been waiting on Death Hatters, this is a great time to scoop these up. So the Death Hatter is designed as kind of like a BY rig bait or an echo rig bait, put a little ball head on it. But how most guys use it here is as a chatterbait trailer. So if you guys are using like a jackhammer with a Zocco, it's gonna have a real wide movement to it. If you substitute your Zocco with a Death Hatter, it tightens it up. So you have more of a flat side crankbait type movement. So uh, as the water cools off or when they just want a different look than what everybody else is giving them, this could be a great one. Uh, the five inch is also great because it's stiff enough that you can add a trailer hook. So if you guys are getting short strikes, you can add a trailer hook with a five inch as well. So all kinds of colors return in this this week from Depths. We also see a return finally of the Depths back glide bait, the bull slide. So all the colors return in this guy. This guy is designed off of the bull flat, but it's designed in more of a way to where it's going to back glide, has a real subtle movement underneath the cover. So I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on that. Those return this week as well from Depths. All right, also huge restock this week in bull flats. Talking about the bull flat, this is our best selling bluegill soft plastic. Uh, free rig, you can Tokyo rig this, you can rig it like a swim bait, all kinds of things. So the smaller sizes are great and finesse. So three inch return, three eight return, uh, we also see 4-H return. So all the colors you guys have been missing, the bluegills, the green pumpkins, right? All of those are back 
from depths in the bull flat. All right, Jeff, a new offering for us. The first time Depths has actually made this bait in several years. So this bait originally came out, I believe in 2010, made a huge splash. That year, it was kind of like the cover scat of that year. So everybody just destroyed them on this. You know, Depths is a swim bait company, right? This is a soft plastic paddle tail swim bait. It's just a really hard one to make, so they don't make them that often. Finally, we see a production run of them and first time we've been able to get them in. So the Depths Bumble Shad in both the four inch and the six inch is now available. So this is a really cool soft plastic paddle tail. Everybody throws a paddle tail, right? I mean, we all have them in our boats. So you got the two sides, you got the four inch and the six inch now. What makes a Bumble Shad unique? Well, what makes any paddle tail unique is just the movement, right? So they're all gonna move slightly different. So the Bumble Shad is built with kind of a little wider head and then it has super flat side to it, right? So almost like pancake type sides and then a big bulbous back end and then a very kind of thinned out tail on the back. Now it has a stabilizer fin here as well that allows it to maintain an upright posture. It does have a hook pocket. So if you want to rig it weedless like how we have it here, you can, it'll take uh, six inch takes like a six odd or seven odd the four inch will take like a four aught or a five aught. So basically what you're gonna get is you're just going to get a bait that's got a lot of head movement. You can see when I hold it here, that head wants to rock side to side, right? So you're gonna get a lot of head rock and you get this very unique action out of it to where the body's got this kind of slow movement, but that tail goes absolutely nuts in the back. So definitely kind of like a, almost a three in one type action. So. I would recommend rigging it like this, like on a weighted beast hook, or of course, Depths makes the Bumble Head as well, and these are also back in stock this week. So the Bumble Head is kind of a specially weighted jig head designed to go with the Bumble Shad. So when it's rigged like that, this is what you're going to get. You got a little weed guard there. Uh, you have a little wire keeper here on the bottom that helps keep that bait in place. And then it just adds a little bit more exaggerated head movement to it as well. Uh, and it lets you fish it down deeper so you can get the bumble head in different sizes, three eighths, half, three quarters, so on and so forth, right? So if you guys are looking for a different swim bait offering than what you currently have, this could be a great option for you. So that is the Bumble Shad and the Bumble Head, those are available now from Depths. All right, Jeff, back in stock, plus some new colors to the line. This is the first time we've had these guys in, in a long time. This is the Depths NZ Crawler with the junior size back in stock. So the junior size is 90, uh, 96 millimeters, one ounce. So it's a really easy size to throw everything from the original size NZ Crawler goes into this guy. And we see some new colors. We see bubble gum, we see glass cap, we see smoked black, we see crackleback chartreuse, we see visible black, right? So we get five new colors plus a return of the original colors as well. NZ Crawler, probably one of the more popular crawler baits in Japan, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, if you guys watch any Japanese YouTube, you know, you'll see this all over the place. Just an amazing little crawler. It's got a very subtle movement to it. It's obviously got a real wide body, so it's going to have a different movement. So they've put swiveled hook hangers on there just to help keep fish pinned uh, after they bite. Just a great all around bait. So if you guys are crawler fans, I know that you know about this guy. Uh, so. While supplies last, those are available again from Depths Japan. While we're on topwater, we also see a huge restock in Pulse Cod and Pulse Cod Juniors. So a lot of the colors you guys have been waiting on, some of the bluegills, some of the blacks, these all return as well. Uh, the Pulse Cod's a great popper. It's got that same uh, spring-loaded weight in the head that like a slide swimmer has. So when you pop it, it has that vibration in the head that gives off pulses in the water a lot like a heartbeat of a fish. So if you guys have been waiting for those return, again, I, I sound like a broken record here, but Debs has been way behind in production, so a lot of this stuff just hasn't been available in a long time. Those return this week from Debs. 
All right, huge restock and a return of a bunch of key colors in Evoke this week as well. So the one twos and the one eights return. Uh, some of my favorite colors like Blackback Shad that's next to impossible to keep in stock are back. We also see like Chartreuse back, Pond Gills, that kind of stuff, all return this week from Depths in the Evoke. Also, finally, I know a lot of you guys have uh, become huge fans of this guy, the Evoke 0120. Well, Depths promised us when they released this bait, this has that stainless blade on the back. They promised us replacement blades for the back. And a lot of you guys have been like fishing like I have, where we're running bank, we're throwing it up on rocks and pulling it back in. And some of our blades are getting a little uh, funky, right? So finally, we see some replacement blades for the Evoke 0120 come in. So if you guys need to replace, you can, or if you want to change color. So there's a silver, a gold, and a black option. So, you know, it's a reinforced screw-in piece, so they're really easy to take out and put back in. So there you go. If you guys have been waiting on that, those are available now from Depths. All right, and finally, from Depths, now, they did come out with some rods and some packs over there as well. We'll get to that at the end of the show. Uh, but we also see a huge resupply of the Buster K and Basariski. So uh, they relaunched these about three or four weeks ago and we ran out really quick. So all the colors are back. So bone crackle, black, moss green, etc. All those return from depths as well. All right, Jeff, we talk about this bait on a fairly regular basis. And it's one of those baits that just still is yet to catch on here. I have faith, but one of the most popular baits in Japan um, from Fat Lab, the Nekasogi, is available in three new colors. I think this one's super sick. That one's crazy. Yeah, so I don't know that I need a koi pattern, ah, but Crystal Gardens. it speaks to me, right? So, and these other ones are dope too. They, yeah. look, they look like real bait fish, yeah. right? But I don't know. So there you go, three new colors in this. This is one of those swim baits that I think is just misunderstood, right? A lot of guys just want their baits to have all these big exaggerated movements and fish really fast, right? Like. These DRT guys like you, just mm -hmm. fast, 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 right? This bait is really designed for like cold water and fishing really slow. Uh, it's designed really to be kind of like a Biwa rig style bait where they just fish it really painfully slow uh, and the fish eat it, okay? So uh, if you guys are fans, three new colors for you to play with from Fat Lab, those are available now. We also see one of our best selling craws return from Adusta. This is the Adusta Gadget Craw. Now, this is one of those sleeper craws. Well, I will say this used to be one of those sleeper craws. Once word got out, guys really started figuring this bait out. There's a lot you guys can do with this bait. This is one of those craw baits that uh, you can just open out of the package and use and it's gonna have great action. If I can actually get one out of the package, yeah, this might help. Okay, so uh, what Adusta is known for is they're known for making baits that have the ability to totally customize, okay? So as the bait is out of the package, it has legs, it has claws, it has tentacles, it has all kinds of things on it uh, just to give it a lot of life. You can throw it just like this on a little Ned. You can free rig it. You can Texas rig it. You can use it as a jig trailer. Lots of stuff you can do, right? Now, they've also built this bait so that it can be completely customizable. So everything on this bait you can take off, right? So you can remove these legs very simply and give yourself uh, more of a free swimming, like a swim jig chatterbait kind of motion. You can take the claws off and you have like a back glide kind of shrimpy style bait. You can take the tentacles off and have different actions from the bait. So in one bait, you get like four or five different potential movements and offerings uh, that you know you normally need four or five different baits to do. So. A super cool bait. Again, it's a hard one to get in uh, because they're very difficult to make. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into the process, but I know a lot of you guys are gonna be excited to get these back in. So all colors back in stock from Adusa this week in the Gadget Craw. All right, Jeff, new from Evergreen. So we saw a lot of this stuff at iCast. Uh, they were coming out with new colors and expanding some product lines. Some of it is dropping this week. So. Evergreen USA has brought in 
the Evergreen IR jig. Now this is a jig that's been in Japan for quite some time. It's just a great uh, kind of finesse ball head jig. I'll open one up here and let you guys take a look at it. So very simply, uh, this is gonna be one that maybe a lot of you guys have been using something similar already in like a, I don't know, like an OSP Hunts jig, right? So this would be a good one where you don't need the full football jig. Maybe you guys are kind of fishing around more rock or you're just kind of throwing at bluffs or skipping docks. It's gonna give you a more compact jig version than traditional offering. So it's gonna go great with a three inch or three and a half inch trailer. Right, so you can see it's definitely more of a compact size there. So it's gonna be available in all the colors that you guys are used to seeing in jackhammers, okay? So they're gonna bring a lot of the same colors over in that. So the IR jig from Evergreen, those are available now. Three eighths and a half ounce, two, I should say. All right, uh, the new CR crank colors are starting to trickle in to the CR16s now as well. So we see three new color options in this uh, CR-16 is a 16-foot diver uh, on 14 pounds. So of course, you can get it down to 18 or 20 if you go lighter. Uh, but Chartreuse Shad, Champion Shad, and Ghost Wakasagi, all those three colors come in to that guy. And then we see some new colors start trickling in to the Shower Blows 150. So if you remember, the 150 kind of went away. Right? They discontinued it and just stayed with the 125 and 105. Now they're bringing the 150 back because a lot of guys are like, wait, we wanted the big one, right? So now not only are they bringing it back, but they're giving us some new colors in it as well. So some colors that you've seen before in baits, uh, but this will be the first time you've seen it in shower blows. So colors like Glow Shad Dazzler is available. They're bringing us some uh, JDM colors like Flash Wakasagi and Ghost Olive Shad. And they're bringing us some colors even that they've only done in the JT. So flash clear shad, silver flitter shad. So really dope offerings in this. Really excited to get the 150 back in action. So from Evergreen, the SB150, new colors and new launch. Those are available now. All right, some restocks and some new color options from Issei on a few things. So we see a return of the Katakuchi worm and some new color options in this. This is a super dope worm that you can do a lot of things with. Free rig guys really went crazy with this thing. Uh, of course, you can drop shot it. Let me sacrifice one, I'll take it back out of the package. You can fish it on a neck. You can do whatever you want with this thing. You don't need me to give you permission. All right, there you go. So, uh, a lot like the gill flat, it's built with that same kind of body, that same kind of grooved body in there. So you're gonna have that great movement. Uh, so again, it's gonna be super natural. You can use it as a you know chatterbait trailer or something like that as well. Uh, just a really lifelike, great moving worm. So the Katakuchi worm in a bunch of colors, those return from Issei. Speaking of gill flats, these return also in a bunch of colors. I think all the colors are back in the gill flat junior. So this is, you know, the original version, of course, right? We talk about it all the time. So if you guys have been needing to restock, all of the Gill Flat Juniors return as well. And then we also see a new size addition in the, say, Caramel Shad. We see the addition of the 3.5 inch. So we've had these in the four inch size. Now we see the 3.5 inch. Caramel Shad is just a great all around uh, paddle tail bait, it's got a rib body. All right, here's a look at the Caramel Shad. Uh, so the Caramel Shad has got a fully ribbed body, but it also has like a center segment that's just a little bit wider than the other segments just to give it a little bit more of a pivot point. So it's a great one to use in a traditional way you'd use a paddle tail, but you could also, you know, free rig, drop shot, Texas rig, do whatever you want with that guy. So the 3.5 version, those are available now. All right, big restock week from PB Rat as well. So, you know, rat fishing is in full force. If you guys have been waiting on any to come in, lots of the, our best selling colors, like the browns and the grays and that kind of stuff, return both in two piece and three piece. So, if you guys have been waiting on any of those to come back, now's a great time to scoop them up. Those return from PB Rat. We also see a full restock this week in Sunline Defire D-Leader. So the D-Leader is the 
highest price point, most premium leader material that Sunline makes. A lot of you guys have been loving it. So uh, it goes great with the uh, Defire D braid. So all the sizes from the little sizes up to the big sizes, all that return this week as well from Sunline. We also see a new silicone tube and plier system from Genius Project. You remember Genius Project, right? With the plus blades, some mm -hmm. of our favorite things. So they have made silicone tubes for a long time to use for you know wacky rig, neko rig, that kind of stuff. So this is kind of a unique plier uh, from the standpoint that a lot of pliers that are like this only have one edge, but this has two edges. So you've got one edge for your small tubes and one for your larger tubes. So you basically put your tube here and then you squeeze to open, you slide your worm in and then you close it tight and you peel it off. So just a great way to wacky rig. Uh, it looks like a creepy dentist That's tool what or I'm something, saying. doesn't it? It's like, it kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies just kind of looking at it. Yeah, it looks it's like you pull teeth. Kind of weird, yeah. But there you go. If you guys like to throw wacky rigs, uh, these are great because you can cut the tube down to whatever size you want. So if you want a thin little tube, you can make a thin one. If you want a thick one, you can make a thick one. You slide it here, you put your worm in there, you just open it up and then you pull it out and you're good to go. So there you go, from Genius, those are available now. All right, Jeff, we're done with baits, we're on to... Just drinking beer? Yeah, it's beer drinking time. I uh, figured, yeah. yeah. On to the bag reel rod segment. I love bags. You know I'm a huge know, bag yeah. whore. You have like 30 of them or something? At least. I buy pretty much every <laughs> bag that comes to the market. I can never, ever say anything to my wife about her bag her collection. Louis bags because and Gucci bags. No matter how many Fendi's or whatever she <laughs> wants to get. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes me feel douchey talking about it. But you know, I'm going to buy one of these I'm today too. I'm waiting for Louis Vuitton to collab with LSD. Right. Wouldn't that be a nice $500 bag? Oh, 500? Have you ever priced a Louis Vuitton bag? Oh, uh, clearly not. <laughs> Those ugly ass things are thousands, Jeff. Thousands. You could buy a car, or you could buy some ugly bag. <laughs> yeah. Or you could be like you and me and not buy either and yeah. buy some dope ass bags. So, uh, a couple of new color drops from LSD. This is the Hip Bag Tuned Neo. Uh, this is an amazing big hip bag if you guys need something that's got a lot of volume to it. So you can fit some big boxes in here. Uh, by the way, it's a fairly, it's like a semi-structured hip bag. So it's gonna maintain its rigidity. It's all padded on the outside. Uh, it also comes with a shoulder strap. So if you wanna wear this as a sling, which is my preferred way of wearing this, you could wear it as a sling and you can use this to kind of just attach and stabilize it. Right? So you can have it here on the side, have it actually hanging from your uh, shoulder, which is great. All kinds of pockets. I mean, there are pockets everywhere on this thing. It even has the capability here of attaching more accessories. Uh, you can also use this as a rod holder. So when you unattach, it opens on the bottom and you can stick a rod in here, or you can keep this thing attached and you can use it as like a water bottle holder, something like that, right? So lots of thought given to this. You got some molly webbing on the side. You got all kinds of clips uh, all around this thing. So you see a new ripstop black come in in this guy. And then kind of throw back to the hairband days. You got this sick bright blue camo as well. So uh, there you go. Two new colors in the LSD bags. Which one are you getting? I like the blue. You like the blue? Blue's sick. I'm kind yeah, of like sure. a plain guy, so yeah, I'm into the black. Like yeah, it's dope. So there you go, two new colors from LSD. We also see a new dry bag backpack from Daiwa. Now, we're all huge fans of dry bags here. We don't get a lot of rain, but when you get rain, there's nothing worse than your stuff getting wet. Uh, also, like if you're hiking or doing stuff, you know, if you're shore fishing, do something like that, you almost always kind of have to put your bag down at some point. So you put it down in some damp uh, grass or maybe you stumble and fall into the lake or I don't know, whatever is gonna happen. This gives you an option to have a fully enclosed dry bag uh, option without spending a ton of money. Now, I will preface this. 
if you want the best dry bag bag, get the Sam's. It's, it's the best one. Nobody is going to dispute that, okay? They're built to last for 30 years of abuse. If you don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars to get a dry bag, this is, this one is pretty inexpensive. Yeah, so it's like $79 to get a dry bag backpack that's still gonna have a lot of the same features. You're gonna have the molly webbing, you're gonna have an external pocket, uh, and basically you have that big internal storage pocket in there that you can load your stuff, and then you simply just kind of wrap it up, and it's got this kind of waterproof, you know, ripstop material on the outside. So uh, a great inexpensive dry bag option from Daiwa. Those are available now. All right, and then two of my favorite bags, this is my Louis Vuitton that bag. Is, that's it right there. Yeah, this is the bag that goes everywhere with me. This is my Merce, right? This is the Depths Messenger bag. Uh, what I love about this bag is that it it's no bells and whistles. It's literally just a sack, right? So it's just an open pouch that I can just drop a couple of tackle boxes in or a handful of things. It does have an internal uh, segmented pocket that I could put some hooks, put some weights. There's also a zip pocket I could put a couple things in. But that's it. There's a little, you know, uh, fast clip down on the bottom if I want to attach, you know, some leader material or something like that. It's got some little D-rings on the side that I can attach my snips and my pliers. And everything I need is right there. And it just slings over and I carry it around. And it's like the perfect minimalistic bag for me. So I love this bag. This is the Depths Messenger bag. Those are back in stock. And then if you love Depths and you want just a big ass bag, this is another one that both Griff and I use a lot. Uh, this is the Depths Tarpaulin bag, uh, the body bag. So this is a much bigger bag. It's got a huge compartment inside. My only problem with this bag is that it stores too much. And so a lot of times I just load it full and it, I just struggle finding all my stuff because I got shit everywhere. But if you're pretty organized and you need a bag to carry a lot of things, there's all kinds of compartments in here, three see-through compartments you can put uh, your phone or anything like that if you want to keep that dry. So just a great bag. It's all padded on the inside and the sleeves and it attaches with Velcro. Now just word of caution, Velcro over time will eventually give out. Okay, so this is gonna be great for a while, but you may run into needing to just kind of replace your Velcro, but I've had mine for several years and it's still going strong. So just a great all around bag. So that is the Depths body bag. Those are back. All right, back in stock, we are able to snag the last of the batch of this guy. This is the SLP, this is the 2022 TR. This is the SVT Wing 105H. Now. They only had them in righties. Don't yell at me on this one. I wanted to get lefties and righties, uh, but clearly they were only thinking of righties. Griff, are you righty or lefty? I'm a righty. Jeff, righty or lefty? I'm a righty. Me too. So we all get to celebrate. If you're a lefty, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cheers. I'll drink. I'll drink for you. Sure yeah. you sorry, lefties. Together. Learn to use the right hand. All right? The correct hand. Here you go. This is a fully custom built reel from SLP. SLP, as you guys know or should know, works very closely with Daiwa. So they have taken a Tatula frame, but they have completely custom built this to their specs. So uh, full of bearings, there's 11 CRBB plus a roller bearing in here. They're all saltwater safe. So if you guys wanna fish it in brackish water or use it for redfish or something cool like that, you can. Uh, there's even four bearings in the handle. And speaking of the handle, it's a custom carbon fiber handle. You have this rubberized cork grips on it. It's this beautiful matte black finish. Just, just a sexy reel, right? So this was, we brought these maybe six or seven months ago. It was a one-time drop. SOP just happened to find an extra, I don't know, I guess case of them sitting around. So there's not a ton of them. I think we had maybe 30 of them. Uh, to begin with, we've already sold through maybe half of them. So if it speaks to you, I would definitely scoop them up and snag them while you can. I expect it's the last time we're gonna see them. So there you go, the SLP fully custom reel. Those return this week from Japan. All right, four new rod offerings from Depths. 
We don't get rods in from Depths that often. Depths makes amazing rods. They are uh, some of the best rods, I would say, coming out of Japan. They have several different categories. We talk about the uh, gain element a lot, which is one of my favorite kind of all around rods. Today we have some huge customs and we have some sidewinders, which are in their more like heavy impact type uh, rods. So I'm just gonna pick them at random here and we're gonna roll through it. So here is a brand new sidewinder. This is one that I'm super hype about. This is the Boa Constrictor. Okay, so the sidewinders are super light, right? They're made with Torzite guides. I mean, the, the most premium components that you're gonna find on anything, you've got little, you know, depth hits here and the grips, you got metal lockdown, right? So the sidewinder, just spec it out. Uh, this is seven, seven, three eighths to two ounce, right? It's got a really beautiful kind of soft tip up here and then lots of power. So this is gonna be a great one for throwing like a buzz bait, a wake style bait, a great one for throwing like a six inch mag draft, just kind of an all around rod. Uh, a lot of depth rods have a tendency to be heavy because of how they build them. Feel that one, Jeff, super light for a seven seven. So that one is new. Let's stay on Sidewinder for a second. So also new uh, in the Sidewinder is the Bullet Shot. So this is the other new addition uh, from depth, so the bullet shot, and again, it's gonna have that same styling. So instead of metal lockdown, you've got more of a traditional, you know, carbon lockdown here. And you've got seven foot, you've got three sixteenths to three quarter. This is going to be, again, kind of an all around, it's got a very similar rod to that one. Jeff will let you kind of feel it, but in a seven foot uh, version. So pretty dope. We also see a return of uh, a great hunting rod. This is the 7.3 Triple Extra Heavy. Huge custom. Huge custom. Is that what I said? Oh, well, kind of the same thing. You could trout fish or you could throw massive swim baits. Same thing, Jeff. On the same rod. Same thing. All right, huge custom comes back. So this is the 7.3 Triple Extra Heavy. This rod is actually designed to throw like a slide swimmer 250 is a 7.3 rod. It has acid wrap or spiral wrap guides on it. It's got a pretty parabolic bend uh, at that front end, so it's not a broomstick, but it can handle up to like an eight ounce bait. So if you guys are looking for a shorter swim bait rod to throw a four, five, six ounce bait, this is an awesome one for you. So this is a 7.3 huge custom or great hunting, whatever you want to call it. And then a brand new huge custom offering. Now, I wasn't even gonna talk about this, but it's a brand new one that they just made. I don't think they thought many people were gonna buy this because they literally limited all stores to having one. So I have one rod. So huh? if you would like to be one the lucky rod? owner of this one huge custom depths rod, it's all yours. So this is a three piece. It's an H1N 60R. So it's a six foot extra heavy is what they're calling it. But it's designed to be like a jerk bait kind of rod. You can see that it's relatively, even though it's an extra heavy, it's pretty parabolic. So if you guys are looking for like a top water rod, a jerk bait rod, a wake bait rod, uh, and again, it's a multi-piece, right? So it's going to break apart at the couple of ferrules there. Um, so there you go. There's one available. It could be yours if you're the lucky snagger of this rod. There you go, new from Depths. All right, guys, that is a wrap for this week. That was a lot of stuff, Jeff. Absolutely. A lot of cool new things. Uh, what was your, I mean, obviously we know the grub was your favorite. Oh. Other than the grub, what was your favorite? Well, probably this depth <laughs> rod. The, the depth rod, seven. the boa constrictor? It's beautiful That rod. boa constrictor is sexy, yeah. So for me, it's either that. Of course, I love the bags, probably the bags, but having those Lucky Craft SKTs, that's super sick because I'm out, so that was exciting. So. Guys, if you have any questions on anything that we covered today, please drop it down below and I will get to it. Jeff will leave links to everything. Of course, you want to check any of them out closer. Guys, until next time, on behalf of myself and Jeff and Griff and everybody here at The Hookup, thank you guys for your business. Thank you for your support. Thank you for giving us time on your Sunday morning. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Hug your family, catch some big ones. Until next time, guys, peace, cheers. See you, Jeff.